my own makeup pretty much right from the beginning. We all do here in the company. I do have a lot of stage makeup, but a lot of the makeup I wear is just department store makeup that you wear every day. And it does depend on which role you're, you're doing. Raimonda was based on Grace Kelly. She had a very classic look. Creating the character, you know, happened over many weeks in the rehearsal studio. She does have to evolve, and I felt that happened with this character. And, you know, before going on stage, looking in the mirror and, and putting the finishing touches on my makeup, putting the lipstick on and the perfume, I definitely felt like I, I became the girl I wanted to become. You know, it can be different all the time. It just becomes quite instinctive, actually. In The Silver Rose, I played the makeup artist. It's always fun when you get something that's a little bit different to your stock standard. I'm doing a ballet role, face, something new to play with. Showgirl eyes, big lashes, a lot of loops. A normal everyday face, you're trying to blend and make it look as natural as possible. Whereas with a stage makeup, you really are trying to make certain features of your face stand out and read from a distance under very, very bright lights. So you do sweat a lot, but the makeup we use is quite heavy duty, so it won't run down your face. And you wake up and it's in the pillow, along with a few dark circles under your eyes, panda eyes, because you haven't got all your mascara off the night before. It does have an impact. I usually say goodbye to my skin at the beginning of a big season. So it's always good going into a rehearsal period where we're not performing just to give your skin a breather and recuperate before it takes another beating in the next season. Back when I was a Corifei, I got my first opportunity to do the role of Carabos, the, the Queen of Winter. Each night I would sit down at my spot and I would have to put on my face. I would put on white base all over my face to cover it. I was a blank canvas. And I'd put on nice strong eyebrows. Really kind of red eyeshadow and striking lips. Carabos is strong, she's powerful. So you have to get that character across. The audience has to read. Just before I'd walk out to go onto stage would be the final touch, the headpiece. So that's where I became Carabos. Well, the makeup's really the last step in all your preparation to get you into a role. You've been in the rehearsal studio, going through the steps, going through the emotions, what you're trying to portray, but until you're there in that costume, putting on that face, it really is that last step of getting your mindset into, okay, this is what I'm doing right now.